The fashion world is still coming to grips with yesterday's shocking death of iconic designer Kate Spade. As we've reported, Spade was found dead in her New York City apartment, officials saying she took her own life. Her death is shining a light on the often taboo topic of suicide. LEX 18's Tiffany Jackson spoke to the director of the UK Counseling Center about local resources for people who are struggling and those who want to help. News of Kate Spade's death comes as a shock, but it proves that suicide doesn't discriminate. Said is to have people take a moment, slow down for a second, and think about the people who are in their life who might in some way be at risk. Dr. Mary Chandler Bolin is the director of the Counseling Center on UK's campus. She says when a tragedy like Spade's suicide makes national headlines, many people take a step back, not just out of shock, but to open their eyes to what's around them. The center uses a long-standing national suicide prevention program named QPR. QPR stands for Question, Persuade, and Refer, a three-step process anyone can learn. The first step, question, is often the most difficult. The QPR also trains to ask directly to someone you're concerned about, are you thinking about killing yourself? Because if you ask directly, you're more likely to get a direct answer. Dr. Boland says the key is not to be afraid to talk about suicide, because once the conversation is started, it's easier to help persuade someone to seek help and refer them to resources. But if somebody is having a hard day, they don't come to the experts first. They, they come to who's nearby them. Covering the news in Lexington, Tiffany Jackson, LEX 18 News. There are a number, number of local resources for anyone struggling with suicidal thoughts or friends and family who want to help someone they think may be struggling. More information can be found on our website, lex18.com.